Good morning. Today we're looking at example three, profit and marginal profit together out of section 3.1 on marginal functions and difference quotients. We're starting with a profit function that's defined as a quadratic polynomial minus q squared over 20 plus 100q minus 1,000. The marginal profit is defined to be the profit at q plus 1 minus the profit at q. We'd like to see the two functions on the same graph so we can see how the functions relate. I go to an Excel worksheet and you see that I've already put in the function and one of the things to note is every place I had a a4 I replace it by a4 plus 1. This gives me the function that I then can do the marginal profit with. I quick fill down and this gives me the values. I see the values for both the function and the marginal function. I'd like to see profit and I'm going to do my command click so that I get profit and marginal profit together. I want to have highlighted the three columns for Q, profit of Q, and marginal profit of Q. I'm now going to want to insert a scatter plot. I'm going to do a marked scatter plot for the two functions. I see I have profit and marginal profit. Looking at the two scales, profit is so much bigger than marginal profit that I can't really see what's going on. I'm going to format my data series and say I'd like that to be on a secondary axis. And now I see I have two functions that profit is a quadratic function, marginal profit looks like a linear function, and we notice that when marginal profit is about zero, that's when the profit function goes from increasing to decreasing. We're going to be interested in seeing that in general the maximum of the function is going to occur when the marginal function is hitting zero. Thank you.